And welcome back to the Delaware Way. Dawn Stans Lamenti again in for Larry. He actually lost his voice. So we want to bring in a, a real um, a real empowering force. And this is Antoinette Blake, who's an award winning blogger. It's just our pleasure because we love empowerment. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm 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 glad today that Larry lost his voice so I get to meet you. Awesome. Awesome. We'll miss Larry. <laughs> yes, we love Larry. Yes. Um, so tell me about how you started out with blogging and how it became I mean, really famous. People love your blog. Well, you know what? It's funny because I have always loved to write. Uh, even as a child, I wrote. I had a diary. And I also I always tease people. I'm like, you know, when I was younger, I had a diary with a lock and a key that I hid away from my sister so she wouldn't find it. And here I am writing a blog now that the whole world can see. <laughs> but it was something that I've always loved to, to do. And blogging did not become as popular as it is now, but um, it was a, it's a journey that unlike any other. So first it's dellblogger.com so people can find you. Yes. And so what's unique about this? What's unique about you blogging? Well, it's funny because my very first blog was de diva with an h deals.com, fashion and fun after 50. And that was what made that so unique because I didn't start to blog until after the age of 50 and it was more of thrifting, sales, deals and anything free in the state of Delaware. And it became popular because I was very enthusiastic about my writing, and it was actually the Money School of Delaware that discovered me. Um, it was based on a post that I wrote about their Purses to Portfolio event, which is held down at the uh, Chase Center every year. And they discovered me, and they said, hey, would you like to blog for us? And I'm like, hey, sure, you know. But it was so personal. So now it's Dell Blogger because it's more of an education and training. I teach others how to blog now. You teach them how to blog, but I think along the way, uh, what you're doing, and we see a lot of women especially, re-entering the workforce yes, yes. or reinventing ourselves after the kids are grown or that sort of thing. Can you take me through that? Because I think that's the connection here, right? That is definitely the connection, and you're so on point. Um, I was corporate America for 32 years with IBM, um, living life, you know, <laughs> kept saying, okay, put the kids through college, we'll move, we'll downsize, but I loved blogging and I loved teaching. So back in 2015, I decided, let me create this business for a just in case, a hobby, you know, turn that passion into a project or a passion into a profit. So I started working with business owners, small business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and I like to call them side hustlers, <laughs> to um, not only blog, but how to be um, engaging on social media. Because we know social media is here to stay. It's not a fad, it's not the future but not everyone knows how to engage with their audience in what I consider an H to H manner, which is human to human, because we know business to business, business to consumer, and now consumer to business, but H to H is really how people connect on social media. People do not go to social media to be sold to, they go to socialize. So I found that working with others became profitable. You know, you've had people, I mean, this is a blog, so internationally, what are some of the questions you've gotten for, from people and how have you reached out to people to give them advice? Can you give me some specifics sure. here? A lot of people feel as though a blog is a get-rich-quick scheme because they see people blog and they make money and monetize. It's hard work. You have to have a passion for anything, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be passionate about what it is because you're writing. It is literally writing. If you're blogging, you're writing once a day, twice a day, three times a day. When I started, I was actually posting twice a day, seven days a week, and did not get one comment for three months. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you know it had to be passion. Perseverance too. Person, three Ps, passion, patience, and persistence. And I know that you're also, your husband is a cancer survivor. Yes, so he you, is. You're a caretaker as well. Yes, yes. Have you found people connecting to you just about life and things like that? Well, you know, that, I don't put a lot of emphasis on that, but what that is, that's my motivator because now that I'm blogging full-time and working from home full-time, we're together full-time. We're married 28 <laughs> years this year. Thank you. And I said, oh my God, I wake up, I go to sleep, I see him, he's there. I know he's gotta got kind of used to me being there, <laughs> not able to watch the same television programs that he used to watch. But um, yeah, I mean, cancer, um, 
sucks. Let's put it point yeah. blank, period. So working with others who know, you know, writing, because we're leaving a legacy. I'm leaving a legacy for my sons, for my son's sons, and so forth and so on. And it's so funny that you talk about it, because when I first started blogging, they didn't understand it. My husband didn't understand, why is mom taking pictures? Why is she always taking, you know, why we have to do this? Why can't we eat when it's time to eat? And now, when we go out to dinner, when the meal is served, they all back up so mom can take her pictures and think, you know and then I blog about it on my Instagram or whatever but now they understand especially when those checks started coming in then they said okay this is you know so now they're they really really are really into it and my son uh, he, I'm so proud of him he's a, a senior at Bowie State University and he recently pledged a fraternity and one of the questions is that what does your mother do and he couldn't think that I worked for IBM he said she's a professional blogger Aw, yes. what did that mean to you? Everything. <laughs> it meant that I was doing what I was meant to do. Oh, Antoinette, you're such a blessing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. And thank you for joining The Delaware Way. I'm sure Larry Menti, my better half, will be back next week. Until then, have a good one.